So eventually you go back to Dr. Leakey and you give him a report on what you've learned. And in that report, you kind of changed the perception around the world of, of chimpanzees because people thought at the, that time, as I understand it, that chimpanzees are not capable of making tools. Only humans could do that. Right. And you discovered that they make tools for what purpose? Fishing for termites, crumpling leaves to get water from a hollow in a tree that they can't reach with their lips. Did you ever eat the termites yourself? Are they tasty or? Well, I had to eat one just to say I'd done so. No. So after you gave your report to Dr. Leakey, he, I guess, sent it to somebody and people said, how can this woman, not trained as a scientist, come up with a discovery that we famous scientists didn't know about? Is that the essence of the problem? They were extremely arrogant, most of them. Right. And, uh, and you know, they, they were saying things like, well, um, she's just a girl. She's straight out from England. Why should we believe her? One of them even said, maybe she taught the chimps to use tools, which as they were running away at the time with them. And so so you... um, eventually, National Geographic decides to get a photographer to come over? Yeah, the National Geographic came after a leaky approach them, and they said, we will fund Jane's research after the six months money now, runs. Now, National Geographic came over and was able to get people to interested in this because of what reason? This is what the scientists said. The scientists said, oh, well, you know, the Geographic's giving her money because they can put her on the cover because she's got nice legs. Mm. So okay. if, if, if that would happen today, there'd be a lawsuit. And that's right, I, but so... Back then, I, I just thought, well, I mean, it was a different world back then. And I thought, well, if my legs have got me the money to do what I want to do, which is study the gym, thank you, legs. So... Well, um, NASA Geographic sent the photographer over. They took the pictures. It became a famous article. And then you became pretty well known. Did you decide to go back to England and do something else then? Get your PhD? No, or? no Leakey wrote to me and said, I picked you because you had not been to university and your brain wasn't, wasn't um, you know, cluttered up with the the very arrogant way scientists treated animals back then as mere things. Uh, but he said, now I want you to be, uh, to be respected by other scientists, so you must get a degree. But we don't have time for an undergraduate degree. I've got you a place in Cambridge University in England to do a PhD in ethology. Well, I didn't know what ethology meant. So the study and behavior. So you skipped the undergraduate part and you got a PhD. And I was very, very nervous. Um, I could, you can imagine, I'd never been to college. And just imagine what I felt like when I was told uh, by the scientists, well, you, first of all, you shouldn't have given the chimpanzees names. It's, if you're a proper scientist, you give them numbers. Then they said, you can't talk about their personalities, their minds, or their emotions. Those are unique to us. They also said, you must not have empathy with your subjects um, because a good scientist is objective. And if you have empathy, you can't be objective, which is rubbish. 